Welcome to my channel. So today, uh, I'm going to show you how to configure Profilet uh, interface. Okay, uh, <clears throat> today's topic. So another video I have made for uh, Profibus. Okay, Profibus configuration. Um, what I use on Profibus. Today we are going to see the profit. Okay, in this video. Similarly, first thing, the CPU should be having Ethernet port when we are going to communicate with Ethernet, right? So here you can see I am having one CPU 314C2 PN by DP, right? In hardware configuration, if you go, uh, you can see PN IO. Option. Okay. So to communicate with uh, PLC, I'm using say MPI. I will double click on this MPI. Under interface, okay. I'll select type as MPI and under this MPI, I'm selecting this MPI <coughs> submit. Then say okay. Okay. Next, as we need to configure PNIO. That is for remote IO communication, Ethernet, uh, which supports Ethernet communication. For that, we need one IM interface module, which supports Ethernet, okay, which is having one Ethernet port, okay, similar to DP, which is having DP port, right? Now, in this, double click on PNIO. Again, you can see here we are having property window for. PNIO. For this, you can see under interface it is showing Ethernet option, device number zero, and address. By default, address it is showing 192.168.0.1. This is for your CPU. Right? Then go to the properties here. In this properties, again it shows you IP address 192.168.0.1. And under subnet, by default, it is showing Ethernet value. Or if it is not available, okay, you can click on new to create a Ethernet connection. <clears throat> okay. So once you select this, it will be added here and you can select the Ethernet network. Okay. Or submit. Also known as submit. Then say okay. And okay. Now you can see with this PNI, it is showing one network here. Okay, one line. This is your Profilet IO system. On this, what we need to do is we need to add our IO, right? <clears throat> so we are having different IO modules nowadays. So from catalog, select uh, Profilet IO, expand this Profilet IO, go to the IO's option, input output. When you expand this folder, you can see we are having different types of ETs again. Okay, say uh, we are using ET 200S. ET stands for extended terminal, right? So expand this ET. In this, we are having <coughs> different IM modules. Okay, so I take one basic one IM 1.1 TPM. Just drag this and drop it on your document. Okay, so now this is added here. Double click on this. Here you can see <clears throat> it is showing the device number as well. For this CPU, it was showing zero, right? Device number zero. Now, here IP address 192.168.0.2. You can go to Ethernet. Here you can change the IP address if it is required, if you want to change. Otherwise, you can take the same. Okay, so I'm selecting 192.168.0.2 because I'm using simulator. Okay, and here on this uh, Ethernet uh, 
items were not having any DP switches. That is for profit bus. Okay, for profit bus communication. But here we are selecting IP address directly in software. We are feeding that, right? So you no need to uh, select any DP switch here, right? So it is not having the DP switch option at all. Now, you see, okay. Now, with this IM, again, what we need to do is expand this IM again. And you can add the modules like for supply module. You can select any module here. It's not number one. Then I add one BI module for this inputs. So I add DI. So I don't need So I take this for DI module. And I need DI module. Support Profit. Okay. Then what is next? Save and compile. Okay. Now again, we need to download this configuration to our CPU. So select on download button. Save okay. So that is showing this uh, IP address. Okay. But for communication, we are using MPI. Okay. So here, this protocol you need to change here to MPI. Then minimize this. Now we don't need. <coughs> so, okay. 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 Yes. That's it. Okay. So these are we configure this profilet IM modules. Okay. For this purpose, we are using one uh, profilet cable with RJ45 connectors. Okay. Now you can check the addressing here again. For your local IOs, was the byte number starting zero? Right, byte numbers are starting for zero for inputs and outputs. Whereas when you select this IM, it's starting from five and four. Okay, five for this input, there are only four DI. So, byte number five, bit number zero to byte number five point three. So, many for the outputs, only four outputs are there. Okay, so this way. So for example, already we are done for the previous one, the profit bus DP. So this program we are written. So we just download this logic and download. Okay. You can offer the inputs here. I will five or remote IA by number right. Oh. And then you are producing two. This output is on. 
right on your remote IO. Okay, and when you operate this input here, this local IO output is on. Okay, so this is how we can operate this uh, input outputs on remote IO. You can do it DP or with a PM. So this is a PM configuration. The hardware using Ethernet communication. Okay, in this Ethernet, what we are doing, we are using IP addresses. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. 